Hi, I'm Nadia Dunn. Welcome to CCL TV, a TV platform made by the industry for the industry. But who are CCL? Well, CCL are an independent and neutral third party logistics service provider and custom clearance specialist. Joining me today is Peter Sommers, who's CEO of Emirates Post. Peter, thanks so much for joining us today. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. And thank you for being here. Thank you for the invite. No, it's lovely to see you also in Dubai, in hot and sunny Dubai. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's sunny now, but not hot anymore. The hot season is behind us, uh, that's for sure. See, when we're coming from over from London, that's still hot for us. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, yeah. <laughs> now, before we get started, Peter, can you tell us a bit about your background? Yeah, sure, yeah. So I'm, I'm Belgian from origin, and I, I think I spent now more than 30 years in the industry, uh, from it, originally the B2B logistics, and then the postal logistics and e-commerce logistics. So I joined the Belgian Post in the year 2000, and I left them in 2014. Um, and in that role, I was responsible for everything, which was the parcel business, e-commerce business, international business, international expansion. After I left B Post, I started a couple of companies myself, became an entrepreneur, and again there, guess what? I went into e-commerce fulfillment and logistics. Uh, till at a certain point in time, I was asked and had to, to uh, become the CEO of Emirates Post. And guess what? Back into uh, <laughs> commercial logistics. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's what I've been doing for a couple of years uh, now. And yeah, Emirates Post, uh, yeah, just to give you a little bit of uh, update on that. Uh, Emirates Post is a, was a government entity, is now a pri private entity. And potentially we go for a public uh, entity um, in the next couple of years. And um, I was asked to, to lead the transformation from government to private to public, uh, but also from, let's say, the historical business of uh, letter mail into the parcel e-commerce logistics uh, like any postal operator is doing today. Excellent. And can you tell us about the main impacts that the pandemics had on Emirates Post? Uh, it's not only an average post that it has an impact. It had an impact on the global industry and the whole e-commerce industry. Uh, and with all the negativity of COVID-19 and pandemic, for the, let's say, the industry, the last mile players, it had a positive impact because, um, yeah, logically, due to this strict lockdown, there was no other solution than to buy something online. Mm -hmm. So the majority of the uh, retailers here today uh, were not online before the pandemic and now are online. So only 3% today of retail is e-commerce, but we made a quantum leap uh, spike or quantum leap growth during the pandemic. Um, and I believe that the industry, the whole industry um, in six months time was having the same growth of normally three years. Mm -hmm. And so certainly in the Middle East where it was lagging behind compared to Europe, US, China, uh, in terms of e-commerce, it's now at a new level um, with new, let's say new players, but also uh, new methods, contactless deliveries, uh, more drivers on the roads, more players in the market. So it really, it has been good for companies like ours who want to play in that sweet spot of the last mile. And you spoke briefly about e-commerce there. Can you tell us more about digital transformation and e-commerce projects that you've been managing and implementing since you started in 2019 as CEO? Yeah, um, so everything what we do, we, like, we try to look at what is the digital component of our business. Uh, at the end of the day, it all comes down to a delivery or a pickup. That's what we do locally or internationally and cross-border. And I come back to that as a cross-border part of it. But if you look at the UAE market today, we're one of the leading last mile players in the market. Due to the pandemic, we went to contactless deliveries. And now we're rolling out our uh, new app, which is the Emirates Post app. Um, and that app will, let's say in the future, um, notify every transaction a consumer or a company is doing with Emmet's Post. We want to have that visibility that a consumer can follow where their parcel is, that they have the notifications, that they can set their preference, 
Do you want your parcel delivered to your home? Do you want to deliver to your neighbor if you're not at home? Will you pick it up in a branch? Will you pick it up in a parcel locker? Will you pick it up in a uh, service point of us? And all these transactions need to be uh, streamlined, but also in real time visible for the end consumer. Uh, and that is something uh, which is new for the market, new for Emmett's Post, and in some yeah countries, completely new because there's not always something like that. I always say the delivery of a parcel, half of it is the human interaction and half of it is a digital interaction. Well, my next question actually was, what's the future of traditional letter delivery? But I mean, you touched on that with your app. Well, um, first of all, the, the whole letter delivery business uh, in the UAE and in the Middle East is completely different than in the US and Europe. Mm -hmm. yeah? We don't have last mile delivery to the houses of letter mail. Uh, the whole system is a PO box where every consumer or every company is renting a PO box and we deliver to the PO box. Uh, and these PO boxes are connected to the branches, to the postal branches. So as a consumer, you need to uh, drive to the post office and collect your mail unless you take a subscription where we deliver to your house but that's done on a weekly basis or a daily basis whatever you want uh, having said that the the mail volumes in the UAE Middle East are much lower than uh, in Europe pro capita uh, and that has also a tradition and history uh, but also to do with the digitization of the country the UAE is a very digital country. Mm -hmm. I think it's a 99.2 digital penetration. And that's what, of course, brought every communication between government and consumer or companies and consumers online. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we still have physical mail. And also that is something that uh, potentially in the future we will transform into digital mail. Mm -hmm. And th sticking with the UAE market, what's the future of B2B and B2C uh, last mile e-commerce delivery? Well, the, the future is, is certainly in the B2C. It's a growing market due to the e-commerce penetration, um, the, the new players who came into the market, Amazon, who bought a local player in 2018, 2019, Noon, who started to build up their... Um, activities here. So you see the market moving and the pandemic came along. So the market is growing anyhow. So no doubt that the, the future is bright when it comes to last mile for e-commerce. Uh, having said that, there are many players in the market, a very fragmented market. I think more than 150 players, uh, which is maybe too much for uh, a normal market like this. B2B is still there, B2B is still around. So delivery of documents, delivery of credit cards, delivery of checkbooks, it, that's all what is happening uh, also in the B2B. Yeah. And with B2B, uh, what are your thoughts around global e-commerce sustainability challenges? And does that topic resonate with Emirates Post? Um, yeah, sure. I think sustainability is on the agenda of every company. and. Mm. Um, we, we will uh, also set our targets to reuse emissions. Um, we will also look at packaging. Um, we will also look at other sustainable topics. Um, it, has, it hasn't been high on the agenda yet, uh, but it's, it's there to come and we will follow the trends like any other company. Uh, and no doubt on that. Mm -hmm. And in terms of events, what do you think the future looks like? Do you think it will become a hybrid of these online, digital uh, and physical events? No, no, no doubt. Um, I believe the, the consumer uh, of tomorrow and maybe the consumer today already, at the end of the day, they want instant gratification. Mm -hmm. They want everything now. And that's also why you see in Dubai um, 10,000 of drivers delivering food and coffee uh, and lunches and dinners. So the whole delivery, the Talabat, uh, the Kareem's, um, KFC's, they all have their drivers because it's a, it's a, let's say, a country with behaviors that uh, go to that level. I want to buy something, I want to buy it now. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's not only in the UAE, that's also all, all over the Middle East and, and also happening in Europe and, and in China. 
So the whole supply chain is, is moving in that direction. For what they want instantly, I think the services are there. But not everything is needed instantly. And, and also thinking about sustainability, you cannot deliver everything in 15 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. That's not possible. So there will be a differentiation between food and groceries and uh, maybe something you need urgently. And then what is same day, next day delivery, or maybe consolidation into weekly deliveries of stuff that you only need on a weekly basis. So I think there will be not one uh, one model. There will be different models, different mm -hmm. terms, different service levels, and of course, different costs, because mm -hmm. a 15 minute delivery is more expensive than the normal next day delivery, no doubt. Yeah, of course. And what are the main e-commerce cross-border opportunities that, that you see looking forward? Well, for us, it's, it's about um, Winning, winning uh, market share in, in last mile. That's absolutely our plan. And so we want to do that through high service, high service and seamless uh, transactions with us. Um, when you buy something online, the only human interaction between the online retailer and the delivery is our driver. Mm -hmm. We want our drivers to deliver happiness, which is one of our quotes, we deliver happiness. You buy something, we deliver it to you, and I see a smile on your face, that's what we want to achieve, yeah? Yeah. is that our, our drivers also uh, deliver with a smile and that you're happy. Happy because we are on time, happy because the parcel is not damaged, happy because you are being, have been notified and you know when we will come, happy because the car, the car is clean, we're friendly, all these kind of things. So behind that delivering happiness, there's a whole organization making it happen that sortation people, IT people, and so on, that mm -hmm. we can achieve that it's seamless, mm -hmm. it's on time, it's friendly, and with a smile. I love that. Who doesn't want to receive happiness? <laughs> It's great. Now, CCL is a customs broker that offer international logistics gateway solutions and not only providing the customs clearance, but also wholesale 3PL solutions. So how do you feel like an organization like us, like CCL, could work with Emirates Post in the future? Yeah, I think, I think brokers who uh, specialize in, let's say, custom clearance 3PL, they will be of use for players like us. Mm -hmm. um, because so far we touched only on the UAE markets, but also Emirates Post is entering the global logistics market and global e-commerce market. And why is that? Um, because the UAE is very centrally located as a gateway. Mm -hmm. UAE is the gateway to the Middle East. So that's also our plan is to offer solutions to anybody in the market, wholesaler, retailers, consumers, if you want to send something to the Middle East and you want to use a postal channel of high quality, then use Emirates Post. And in the whole supply chain from, now we, we're perfectly located between East and West, but uh, we also manage flows from China to the US, which is not most obvious, but in the today's world where we've broken supply chains, scarce capacity on airlines, that's what we do. And in the whole supply chain, you have first mile, the middle mile, the last mile, but in between there also uh, the customs and clearance part, uh, which what CCL is doing, which plays an important role uh, to make that experience also seamless. Uh, with DDU, DDP, all this kind of, uh, let's say, uh, specif specific uh, clearance modalities, mm -hmm. that's what is needed. Well, hopefully some collaboration there in the future, Peter. Um, now, if you were stranded on a desert island, what album or book could you not live without? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you mean that the title of a book that I can't live without? Yeah. When, when I came here um, from, let's say, Europe in, into, into, into the Middle East, um, there is a specific book which is, has been written to... Um, to give the difference between the cultural, um, economical environment here and how Europe and US is working. And I think the title of the book is Thanks God It's Friday, uh, because then the, when the weekend starts, that's <laughs> yeah. the book I read with 
when I came when I came here because at the end of the day, uh, each country, each culture is specific, yeah? and yeah. as a newcomer, as a newcomer in the country, you need to respect mm. uh, the cultural and historical behaviors and also learn it uh, to to use it. Um, that yeah, also not only the business is seamless, but also the interactions with our customers, but also our people in the organization. And always say, um, I want to put my people at the heart of the business. Again, to deliver that happiness, mm -hmm. we, need, we need to train them well, we need to take care of them, they need to be engaged, that they are part of the MS Post family, and that's an important one. And that sounds great, and one that I'm sure a few tourists could do with reading before they come as well. Thank you so much for your time. Keep delivering happiness and good luck for the future.